Brian Powell of I Run Far here with Chrissy Mayo. Uh, how are you doing today, Chrissy? Much better, thanks. <laughs> yeah, uh, we previously reported that uh, Chrissy, Ma Chrissy wasn't planning to run the North Face Championships this weekend, but your, uh, your calf's feeling better? It seems to be rallying the last couple days, so I'm and, excited to get on the start line. Yeah, when did you make that decision? Today or? Yesterday and today, I did a couple of runs where I felt like um, I just had a little bit more optimism. <laughs> it's kind of funny though, like all of a sudden because I can run for an hour and do 40 calf raises, I think I can run for 50 miles. We'll see. <laughs> so how are you going to approach this? Have you ever gone into a race apprehensive like this where you've had an injury and sort of last minute decide? No? Not really because usually if I don't think I can finish something, I won't start. Like, if I'm going to start something, I want to finish it. And that's, so you, my, my, that's usually my mentality. So then what is your approach for this weekend? I, it's going to be hard to let that go, but I think in order to be smart and realize like I have bigger, not necessarily bigger goals. This was a big goal for me and yeah. it's kind of hard to let that go, I guess, but knowing that um, there's always more races to do and I'll be chasing my dreams for a long time and that I don't want to limit what I can do just because of one event. Even though this was a big event, you kind of have to refocus, I guess. So I'm going into it with the thought of like I want to run, I'm excited to line up with some of the best in the world mm -hmm. and see how every mile comes just like you do most races and then if there's something there I'll go for it if not um, or if my calf decides to lock up again then I've got to make the hard decision to pull out because I want to have longevity in the sport. Yeah um, how has your training gone uh, this summer and fall? Um, it's been a little hectic I've been all over the world really and um, I spent a month on the road with the Red Bull Human Express in October, so that was a lot of flat. Carl Meltzer's uh, exactly. Pony Express run, yeah. Exactly, running through Kansas and Nebraska and just really flat um, terrain. And then in um, November, I spent the month doing a lot of hill repeats. Okay. And I felt really solid, and it was probably that extra hill training that. And that quick transition from so much flat to so much hill. That ended up frying my calf, so. But um, it seems to be coming around. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, who are you excited to race this weekend? Anybody in particular? Anybody you've not either had some good races with or uh, or haven't raced before? I'm just ex I just I was saying to Devin earlier this afternoon that I wish there was a way to freeze that moment on the starting line. To be standing there with all of those people from all over the world and like some of your best running buddies, we're all going to be in that, on that beach together and. I wish there was a way to like just freeze that moment so we didn't have to like worry about going for the start that we could just kind of give hugs and chat and um, there's nobody in particular. I'm just excited that I get to be there in that guy. Yeah, so um, this is the first time we've spoken with you since uh, since you've made the big uh, life transition to <laughs> becoming a full-time yeah. trail runner. How's, how's, was it May that you really made that decision? Or? May 1st was my last official day of work. Um, I've done contract work the entire summer and just the opportunities to jump into crazy projects like the Red Bull Movement Express mm -hmm. or um, getting into coaching now and um, Chuck and Nuts coming up. Um, Your 50K? The yeah. 50K that I put on, so registration opens on January 2nd, so you better believe I'm getting pretty busy with yeah. all the details of that and looking to put on another event in the future that is yet to be named, kind of exciting. Um, yeah, there's just get to be open to a lot of opportunity and it seems to be working so, so you're going to keep going down that path hope so. awesome any good race plans for next year i mean not to look too far ahead but um i went ahead and put my name in for western states mm -hmm. and i want to go back to mont blanc so those are my two kind of anchor races that i'll focus on and then um build up with like lake sonoma or um, maybe White River in there in between the two. Well, yeah. I'll be at both uh, Western and UTMB, so I'll yes. hope to see you at both. Are you going to run both? Are you going to yeah, run Western? Yeah, racing both. Uh, awesome. But uh, in the meantime, best of luck uh, this Thank weekend, and thanks, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks.